Sunny Houston. And it's a great place to wake up and uh, now a great song to wake up to. I'd like to say thanks to my family, Janine, Michael, and Danny. And then also that was a little shout out to uh, Marshall Space Flight Center for uh, all they do to get the space shuttles up in orbit. Thanks. Atlantis, good config for the burn. Copy, good config. And we're looking at Space Station on the nose in the daytime. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, Station's look, got a camera on you, and we're looking right back at you. It's pretty cool from here as well. Awesome. Two engines will fire for one minute, three seconds, uh, changing the uh, velocity by 100 feet per second, or about 68 miles per hour. This will uh, raise the perigee, or the low end of Atlantis' orbit, from 145 up to 210 statute miles, and the apogee, or high end, of uh, Atlantis' orbit from 212 up to 214 statute miles. A clear view of the start of the uh, NC4 burn uh, with both engines firing. Again, this is a, a little more than one minute burn. Aboard uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis up on the flight deck, uh, Mission Specialist Piers Sellers uh, there on the uh, left. Mission Specialist Steve Bowen, one of the spacewalkers. Uh, you see uh, his back to the camera on the uh, right in this view, looking at the aft flight station. Uh, This will be a 12-second uh, firing of the left orbital maneuvering system engine, a delta V, or a total change in velocity of 9.6 feet per second, or about 6.5 miles per hour. using the uh, sequential still uh, photo imagery uh, from Space Shuttle Atlantis of the International Space Station. The uh, current range is uh, just under 39,000 feet, about seven, uh, seven and a half statute miles away. The uh, Space Shuttle and the Space Station should be moving into an orbital sunrise as uh, they approach the uh, central, upper central coastline of Chile. Hey, uh, you guys look gorgeous. Get the windows. 